the Egyptians believed at sunset, the sun god Ra died. In order to be reborn at sunrise, Ra had to travel through a dark, watery underworld. And that journey was far from plain sailing. The journey is fraught with danger. The underworld was inhabited by gods, goddesses, demons, beasties. And ancient Egyptians believed that would mean the end of everything. There would be no light. And we would be plunged into eternal darkness. This would be Tutankhamun's royal mission, to make sure the sun would rise again by supporting Ra during his treacherous nightly journey through the underworld. When he was alive, Tutankhamun would have been responsible for making sure that the priests of the sun god Ra worshipped every hour and helped the sun across the sky. But that responsibility didn't end when Tutankhamun died. He was then sailing through the underworld, helping the sun god to fight off all sorts of dangers which might have obstructed the sun and prevented the sun from being reborn in the morning. And this was of vital importance to the Egyptians. If the king were not doing his job, there was always the fear that at night the evil powers would win and there would be no daylight, there would be no good, and the world would simply collapse. This critically important mission would require a vessel of exceptional power and beauty, a boat fit for a god. And Salima believes this is it, a boat specially designed for the sun god and known as a solar boat or bark. Tutankhamun and all kings had to have a solar bark in their tomb so they could join with the sun god to carry out this very, very vital battle. <laughs> 